What's going on? What's everybody up to? How's everybody doing? I just got some some coffee. I did. <laughs> I'm good, man. I'm good. Uh, yeah, I got it. I think I'm hoping this is unless I got something else from Novel Keys. I'm hoping. I'm pretty sure this is it. Um, I got it. Uh, earlier today, around two o'clock. No, actually, it was three. Yours isn't even shipped. Yeah, I don't know why. My, my hopefully this is. I believe it's the smoke. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Uh, so you did get the smoke, the entry edition. It was pretty cool though. There was a, uh, a lot more available this time. I, you know, I, I, so for me, I don't want to take the opportunity from other people to purchase the entry edition, but I did want to take a chance at picking up a budget board and seeing how it sounds in comparison to my aluminum version that I already have uh, behind me. Uh, this guy right here, that's the NK uh, E white aluminum. Sorry, man. Yeah, I think it's probably because I'm closer. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, let's see where Novel Keys is located at. Uh, West Virginia. Yeah, I am only about four hours away from West Virginia. So I imagine that's probably why I got here faster. So I got new light, well, not new lighting, better lighting uh, figured out. I got my M50 with a wide angle lens here. And then I got the EOS R. Shooting in 4K, so it looks pretty dope. Yeah, I'm excited though. I, I, I've been wanting a, a smoke colored keyboard for a while. Uh, I have the um, Polycarbonate KVD67 Mark II Frost right there, uh, which is pretty nice, but I think the smoke looks good. I think the smoke looks really good. Okay. Nice. What? Look at, I've never got one of these. Make your voice heard. Nice. Nice little vo vote coaster. Cool, cool. I don't know if it's going to fit my coffee mug, though. <gasps> Look at that. Perfect. Good old office coffee mug. That's cool. Nice little vote by mail. Very nice. This is Gator Ron. He's pretty cool. Novel Keys NK65 Entry Edition. Novel Keys logo. I'm going to save these. Um... Oh, also, before I unbox this, check that out. Isn't that nice? New mat, which is cool. Oh, it does come with an NK case. All right, very cool. I'm excited. I'm excited. I really want a smoke case. I love how these things come with cases now. It's crazy you get a case uh, with this keyboard for a hundred bucks. Canon Via, supported by Via, 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 Via. Black cable. Probably not gonna use this, but we got one. All right, I'm gonna keep it in the case. And got our keyb. It does seem like there was some like pressure marks on here though. I don't know if you guys see that. Something was pressing. Probably the cable. But it was pressing pretty hard on there. They must have like stacked this or something. You see how like that's gotta be pushing. Wow. Check that out. It does, it feels like a mold keyboard, but it doesn't feel horrible. It's got the foam in there. It's just like the Alu. Uh, it's definitely lighter. You can kind of hear the plasticness. Definitely sounds plastic. It's got a little bit of rattle going on. All right. It's light. It feels, it does feel plasticky though. Which is fine because it is polycarbonate, but I can kind of hear it and it does feel that way. But I mean, for a hundred bucks, that is not bad at all. Especially it comes with all these cases, the PCB stabilizers and everything. Definitely, definitely worth it. Okay. 
Let's move this guy out of the way. We're going to take it apart and try to lubricate these uh, stabilizers as much as possible. So we're going to pull it apart just like we did the other one the other day. I do like the smoke. Smoke is nice. Okay. Is the music too loud? Let me know. Nice. Yeah, CNC. Uh, it looks like actually they did lubricate these stabs. Let's see how much is in it. I'm curious. Yeah, they're definitely rattly though. Yep. Very rattly. Okay. So just like last time, we take out these screws. And these screws are mounted to the base. Uh, I do see some plastic residue. So I would definitely recommend if you do get this, be very careful tightening and loosening your screws. Don't force anything. Tighten it to where it's just tight enough to where the plate sits. Uh, oh, I see something. Uh, that is not good. All right. Let's take this last screw out and I'll show you. That's kind of sad. All right. It's a good thing that I, you know, the best thing that I do with this is that I open things on stream because I do see something uh, in this case. All right. So this guy is not coming out again. So what I'm going to do is get the applicator to push the bottom of the case away. So let me do it real quick. Come on. All right. So the one thing I do see with this one is this right here, uh, where the plate mounts to the case. Somebody over tightened that. See that little crack in there? Why is this? Where am I at? There's a little crack in there. That's disappointing. I don't think it'll really mess with the sound, but you could see this is exactly what I was saying with this material. Uh, you have to be very careful. So I'll, I mean, I guess I'll message them about it. It's really not that big of a deal for me, but if I do plan to sell this, that is something I have to disclose to somebody else that was not something that I caused. I don't think it was them. Uh, like I said earlier, I think it was probably the shipping. If you saw that pressure that was there, you definitely could see that. Okay. Uh, we have our silicone with it. Yeah, and this is this is kind of good, right? So you guys can know what to look for too whenever you get yours. Ooh. Now this is some silica. <laughs> that's nice. I do like that. That's that's a lot of silicone. And I, I don't know if I've seen anybody uh, do this where they pull it apart this much, so you can kind of see. So I think this silicone. Uh, it's basically uh, to deaden the sound that's in the board simply because the plastic is so thin uh, and then you can see how thin this base is right so this is basically how thin it is you can see where my finger is that's how the base looks so it is a very thin case but like I said for a hundred bucks with the plate and everything uh, if you guys have seen my budget video it's about the same price and in my opinion is a much better keyboard especially being hot swap okay yeah this silicone is definitely nice uh all right the only thing that's gonna be kind of annoying for me i like to foam my boards i think you can probably add another layer of foam behind this but the thing is if you do do that do do then you could possibly risk when you're tightening it um cracking the case so I'm trying to see, does that look, that doesn't look flush either. Is that normal? Does it look bent? Let's see. Let me see if I can find a straight edge. Okay, straight edge. Uh, I guess that's, let's see. Yeah, I suppose that's straight, straight, straight enough. Yeah, that's good. Just making sure. 
Oh, I, the this the beige one is purple silicon. That is weird. That's very odd. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to be taking off the plate from the case top. This is a top mount PCB, uh, top mount plate. So we're going to take these guys off. Like I said, if you do go this route, definitely be extra careful. You know what? I can probably just take the stabilizers out without having to. Yeah, I can take the stabilizers out without having to remove the plate because they are plate mount stabilizers. So we'll just do that just so I don't have to mess it up on accident. Okay. So we push the tab, pop it up. Push the tab, pop it up. Shabam. Can you guys see that? I can't zoom in anymore, sorry. So there's a little tab right here. You just push it and you can lift at an angle and it'll pop up. It's kind of nice. That way you don't have to take out your uh, PCB and your plate all the time. Especially because it's hot swap. Uh, come on. Oh, jeez. There we go. For me, okay, for me, I think this is a great option for people um, that are trying to get into the keyboard hobby, uh, but without breaking the bank. And like, I've, I've just noticed that a lot of the the keyboards that are currently available, just like, they sound like booty. They're just not that great. And I think this keyboard uh, is a good option, like to get, you, to get you started. But yeah, it's definitely in comparison to the Alu, this is super, super plasticky, super flimsy very very hollow sounding but i think with the silicone it'll sound decent um yeah i think maybe if i added a little bit of foam in between these guys like i did with the other ones it might give it a little bit more sound but we'll see for the price though you can't really be mad yeah i think it looks good right yeah exactly it's a great yeah it's a switch tester for sure i agree with that okay we're gonna put this guy back in it's, and I, like I love the seamless design, right? The seamless design is nice to me. Oh, I don't even. Is this RGB? I didn't even check. I'm a goober. Is this RGB? This is not. It is perky RGB, so that's that's good to know. So that's not bad. All right, we're gonna sandwich it together. But man, it, can you imagine though? Like if they did this top, right? Uh, something similar to this top, and just did like a gasket mount in between. And then like this part pushes that in between down onto that. I think it'd be pretty good too. Um, like they could probably run screws in between here. This is just my ideas, my stupid ideas. But if they wanted to do that, I think that's kind of like how the D65 is going to look. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how that's going to be. I'm definitely going to jump on that. I didn't jump on the Bella though. Should I go T1s or black inks? I think I'm going to go black inks. Okay. Yeah. Inks is the way. I agree. Do these little Walmart totes though? Check that out. Uh, uh, uh. They fit about 70. So like, like a 65 board is about what fits in there. So I love these little things from Walmart, man. Super cheap. I think I bought a like a five pack of them for three bucks, something like that. And then I just stack them in the back over there. Okay, 
This is the Dolch Light. I still haven't made uh, the cables yet, guys. I'm sorry. I I'm working on it. I, I, I have to open up my stuff again. Okay. Let me clean this up real quick. Turn the music back on. Move this out of the way. Put this back. I have so many switch pullers now though. OTD, OTD sounds familiar. Wow. So let's look at OTD boards real quick. Oof. What? 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 Hold on one second. I think my I think one of these keys is stuck. Yeah, I think one of my keys was stuck. Okay. Ugh, this something's up this space. Something's up this space. I think my stabilizer might be off. Hold on one second. I think either the stabilizer's off funny or something, or the space bar is just super warped. Ugh. Come on. Gosh, why was that too hard to get off? Seems fine. Yeah, I think it's just the stabilizers work, man. Maybe I put too much 205 in there. Just clean that up a little bit. Just spread it around. Maybe I just put too much in there. Okay. It looks kind of warped. Eh. Yeah, that's better. Eh. I guess it's good enough. It feels very... I'm not crazy about it. Yeah, so those were the Hangul Ataiha. Yeah. There were there was four from Mastrop. All right, so OTD boards. Oh my god. $8,000 for what? Hold on. Window share. Enhance. Okay. Shlabam. I can see that. So I guess maybe this is where people are talking about where the, the wing keyless came from. When Maybe when the initial customs came out, that's where it came from. But it is based off of original keyboard layouts. Okay, let's do a quick sound test real quick, guys. I'm going to disable the audio and move the microphone. It sounds good, man. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Okay.
This space bar is definitely warped. All right, let's do this again. I choked. Ugh. Choke artist. It's not bad. It's, uh, it's, it's actually decent. Um, That silicon does a good job, man. That silicon does a really good job. I was surprised about that. Yeah, that's true. Um, dude, I mean that's a that's a good sound. It's it's very decent. the The sound is very consistent. Like it doesn't sound it doesn't sound very different like uh, the al aluminum. For like it's really light, but that silicon actually kind of keeps it consistent. I like it. It's not bad, dude. Hundred bucks. Yeah. No, my PCB still hasn't uh oh no, it shipped from there. But it's in like it's in the Chinese shipping, so I don't I don't know when it'll come. It could be here. Could be here tomorrow, could be here two years from now. No time will tell. Time will tell. But yeah, let's do the modifier sound real quick. That one's a little, that's that stabilizer. It's a little off. That's also the stabilizer. But this shift over here sounds good. I'll try to play with those a little bit more. It's decent though. I think it sounds pretty good. Definitely a good buy, man. Uh, the only issue, man, that I found was that there are those little cracks and like issues in there. It does have like a nice little RGB glow to it. Let me show you guys. Um, there is that RGB glow to it. True. You can see it in there. It looks pretty good. It bleeds out too. Pretty good little outlet. Yeah, it looks good, man. If you get the frost, you'll definitely see it a lot better. But that RGB actually um, flows pretty good if you guys are into RGB. I'm not particular about RGB, but I think it looks decent. I think the sound is really good, though. Man, that's, um, I mean, if you want a good sounding board, this is definitely a good option. It's not going to be the best PC board you get. It's not as solid. It's definitely got some hollowness to it, but I think it sounds pretty decent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I, I guess I still am kind of RGB. My, my, my computer is all RGB, but it's not necessary. Not exactly. I think it looks good though. This, uh, 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 I would love a blocker. I don't need this extra. Yeah, I, I would love a blocker. If they could do a blocker, this thing would be perfect to me. Assuming I can get one. Yeah, I did. I was able to get one. Uh, I saw that the clip was actually on sale from Canon Keys or the, some other website too. I was thinking about grabbing that, but I decided not to. Yeah. Pretty cool. I like it. Oh yeah, well actually Panda, this one, 
It was available for a good amount of time. It was like hours that it was chilling, like it was still for sale. Um, they had the bloom in this round. They had the frost, the smoke. Uh, I got the smoke. A lot of people seem to like the smoke more. But I think it sounds good review on this later too. But let me, uh, let's pull up the aluminum and let's do a quick comparison between the two. I think that would be interesting. Now keep in mind, these are black inks and the aluminum has the uh, creams. So it's going to definitely sound different regardless. But same keycaps, just different plate, uh, different uh, case material and different switches. So let me grab that real quick. Yeah, so I think this definitely sounds more thocky compared to this one. It's got more of like a deeper sound to it versus the uh, NK65 V2, which isn't a bad thing. Um, it's just very unique in the way they sound, very different. But I think it's nice. I think it looks really good. The smoke actually matches this cable really well. Definitely recommend picking it up for 100 bucks. But I will have to figure out. <laughs> This whole shipping fiasco, ugh. I hate having to deal with that stuff. Yeah, so I guess I'll have to, I'm gonna have to take this apart and see how bad the damage is. So far, I just see the one screw here, that the one screw here that has a little uh, crack in it. So that's gonna be interesting. Uh, let me, yeah, I'll probably do that after the stream just so I don't forget about it. It is kind of weird though. Uh, they have these little divots in here. I guess it's so they can stand off more. But I feel like it was more of the shipping and not novel keys that caused that issue. Because when I first got it, you could see where it was kind of damaged. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, we'll see. Like I said, like if, if when we go back, you'll see where I could see where something like pressed down onto like. Where the stabilizers were almost like it was stacked and it could have been qa it could it could have been it could have been qc um like they when they shipped it they like put they stacked them too much or something or it could have been like ups uh smushed the box i don't know the, the box to me looks fine though so you might be right it might just be qc so uh i'll, I'll message them about it i just i don't want i don't really think it's i don't really think it's bad but I think it is something that we should be aware of that could possibly be an issue in the future. And for people that are coming in to, that really don't know what to look for, it could be an issue. So we'll do that. Yeah, I agree. So, I, and it, you know, Mike at, the, Mike at Novel Keys, um, they've done really well. But we'll see what happens, what comes out of it. Yeah, I think so too. So we'll see. They might just honor it. We'll see what happens. I'll uh, I'll send pictures of it and show them what it looks like. I don't know if it's normal. Also, it could be normal. Um, I don't think that should be cracked like that. That's the only issue. That like the these little spots right here that are kind of white. Um, let's look. So where the screws are, where it's kind of white, you can see where that's basically where the screws are pulling away a little bit too much of material, and like in between, it's like white because the screws are loose and it could just be like the drill or the screws are too big. Yeah. So you can see that along all of these, a uh, little bit of white in there, white, white. And then this is the one here that has the crack. 
So I'll, I'll message I'll message them about it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna. It's a good thing. Like it's. Oh, whoops. It's a, it's a good thing that I do open these on stream just so I can have proof of that too. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the threads. But like this one right here, it looks like it was over tightened. Over tightened or it was like it was like pushed like the plate was pushed down too hard and it caused it to crack. But I'll pull it apart and we'll take a look. But it is kind of good that I, I uh, open these on stream. So like if something like that does happen, similar to the way that this, the NK65 like was really hard at opening, which really wasn't that big of a deal, but for a lot of people it might be. Um, yeah. So I'll just send an email. We'll see what happens out of it. Either way, I'm not disappointed. The only issue like I could see is um, if I do sell this for retail, it pro it'll probably sell for less than retail because of that little crack. Yeah. Yeah, and that's fine. If that's how it's supposed to be. Like I said, that's fine. I just don't know if that's over tightening. Because when, when I've tightened into my PC cases before, you typically don't want to over tighten to where um, it causes the plastics to separate and cause that little white film. But it could just be that. It could just be the, the way it's supposed to be because it is a mold injected PC instead of like a CNC PC uh, polycarbonate. So you never know. It's no big deal. I'm not really mad about it. But I do, you know, I, I just want to do my due diligence because, I mean, I am unboxing this on stream that I just make sure they're aware of it. And if they can fix that, that'd be cool. If not, then I can just live with it. Either way, it sounds good. I like it. All right, well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I will be trying to do some YouTube videos um, reviewing keyboards like this. Actually, let me do my, <laughs> let me do my thumbnail video clip thing. Keyboard overlay disappear. Uh, uh, nope. Vanish. Return. Okay. So we'll just do this. Focus. Focus. Oh, I gotta turn auto focus. Focus. Use your mind. Focus. All right, cool beans. Awesome. I like it though. <sighs> now I gotta figure out what the next board is. So I do have the Practice 65 to build. I might build that tomorrow. Oh geez. I might build that tomorrow. It's kind of a, a super budget keyboard. And I probably will solder that. I'm just, I don't think I really need to mill max anything anymore. I'll probably do some milky yellows in that one too. I think it'll be pretty good. The cool thing though, is it is a Savage 65 uh, PCB. So it'd be a lot easier. Yes, I got the Practice 65 V2. Uh, so it'll, it'll be the nicer version in my opinion. So it'll be interesting. I'm curious to see how that's gonna sound. That's like a, and I, that's like my thing right now, like super budget keyboard builds. This one was a hundred bucks. Um, this one was a hundred bucks. This one was 200. This guy, the brutal was 200 for the case. And the practice 60 was like 35. The practice V2 65 is going to be like about 45 for that keyboard. So, I mean, these are all like under 300. I mean, this one, the entry sounds pretty decent for the price, man. hundred bucks. You can't beat it. Hot swap. You gotta get your switches and everything. Yeah. Well, all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And, uh, definitely appreciate it there's like uh like seems like everybody's streaming today so i appreciate you guys dropping in uh all right guys well i'll see you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next stream maybe sunday uh really just depends i got a lot of homework but hopefully it won't be too bad and i'll get things done so it'll be nice all right guys peace stay awesome